All right, Ed, we're going to move on here. Uh, man, that Reggie stuff really got, got hits you right in the field. <sighs> yes. Uh, also from Nintendo Life, some more kind of bad news. Well, not really bad news, but uh, this comes from Nintendo Life. There's a rumor going around that Nintendo is reviving a... Well, the rumor... It, it's not a rumor that they're reviving a dead franchise, but the franchises that they're rumored to be <laughs> reviving... Uh, don't get your hopes up about Project Hammer or Scalebound making a comeback. Uh, the rumor earlier this week was that Nintendo was working with Platinum Games to revive Scalebound, mm-hmm. and uh, then another one was uh, Project Hammer, uh, which was originally shown off for the Wii. And uh, so I'm just going to read this uh, article from Nintendo Life. Earlier this week, we reported a rumor about Nintendo's plans to revive a dead and buried game. The rumor stems from a a comment made by Game Informer senior editor Imran Khan on last week's kind of funny, uh, kind of funny games cast or games show. Uh, According to the source, Nintendo has intentions of reviving a certain project, even though it was quote officially canned. Of course, this sent the rumor mill wild, with various outlets and fans speculating it could be uh, the axed Wii title Project Hammer or perhaps even Platinum Games Scalebound, which was intended to be an Xbox One exclusive. At the time, industry insider, video game historian, and Nintendo Life contributor Liam Robinson uh, chimed in on Twitter to have his say, and after a handful of requests, he's now published a video discussing blah 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 blah. To be blunt about it, Mr. Rock... Mr. Robertson is certain Project Hammer will never return, citing uh, it as a, quote, catastrophe for everyone involved in the development process. Uh, as for Scalebound, Mr. Mr. Robertson has enough sources at Platinum Games to get an idea on what's going on, which makes it hard for him to believe the game would ever make a return, even though he does think there is still a very small possibility it could. Uh, his main reasoning as to why it would not happen right now, though, was tied to how it was very, quote, personal to a number of former employees. If it was if it was restarted now without the original team, it would it wouldn't be the same creative vision. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, dead and buried franchise is not one of these games. Uh, so, everybody who got your hopes up to play Scalebound, sorry, everybody, still not happening. <laughs> mm, I mean, and <clears throat> I kind of figured out that uh because i was checking on this to see if microsoft still own own it uh they own it in name but they let the name lapse mm-hmm. so scalebound has kind of actually went back to platinum in that sense as for the assets and everything i don't know anything about that and I, even when I, I was watching that e3 presentation of scalebound and that game did not look finished no. uh just by the energy bar that they had i'm just like this yeah, this this wasn't going to be done. Like, I think if Scalebound was going to be finished, it was going to be released on the next Xbox. Um, Project Hammer, that one came to mind uh, because of it uh, being showcased, like the pictures and stuff, and we just didn't hear nothing else about it. So that's why that game came to mind um we if there is a dead and buried project no one in japan or america or even europe knows this is going to be something that's that never got reported or even got off the ground uh something I mean, miyamoto could have killed also so yeah i mean i've been i've been i've been really trying to think of like what dead and buried franchises nintendo really has and like there's nothing that's really quote unquote dead and buried i i don't know unless it was just like Maybe it wasn't a dead and buried franchise, but just a game in that franchise. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I I am really struggling to f- try to think about what that game would be, but uh, watch it just be like Mario One Twenty Eight <laughs> or something. <laughs> and th- we know that Nintendo, if their if a game or a concept doesn't work, they would take those ideas and put it into another game. They will. They will replace it uh, with their interests, kill the, the kill that story or I, that idea. I mean, not saying that they worked on production and just stopped it altogether, but they were just like it didn't even get past the 
uh, planning stages. Yeah. So, you know, if they could have proposed it and they just said no, and that was it, and they just had to move on. Yeah. Um, maybe it's uh, maybe it's the uh, fast RMX's uh, F zero pitch. <laughs> <laughs> it could have. It, it could be. Uh, I, I will say that because of what we've seen at the latest Nintendo Direct, Nintendo really doesn't have nothing to worry about by reviving stuff. I they know. got too many titles in production and getting it's, ready I to mean, release. Like, like I told you, like it's it's almost too many. They almost have too many games in production. Yes. Like I mean, look, they have something... Like, we talked about it on the Roadmap episode, but, like, also, uh, something we didn't mention the last time was, like, Bayonetta, they were talking about every game in the, mentioned in the Direct is coming out this year. Yeah. And so, Bayonetta 3 was mentioned, and Bill Trennan kind of re... On the Nintendo Power podcast, Bill Trennan was talking about Bayonetta 3 and still coming out this year. So, like... That could be their big December game. You know how we were yes. talking about what game comes out in December? Bayonetta is a perfect game for that because, A, December is a time where, you know, people are buying Christmas gifts and stuff, so they're not really, uh, you know, they miss that that Black Friday deal. But if you get it early enough in December, right, your hardcore fans will still go out and buy it. People will buy it for people for Christmas. And, you know, if it does well maybe it'll get like a small discount in january by like 10 bucks so and and to to me personally it still could be in the running for a game of the year like game of the year nominations to me personally do not end till almost the week of christmas or I mean, that's i mean that's why we do our game of the year episodes f- like the last week of the year so we can kind yeah. of i mean i know not everybody's like that but that's why we kind of do it that way because we want to include everything that came out that year right so we'll see we'll see but uh yeah sorry everybody who wants to play project hammer and scale bound you're gonna have to 